golfers surely appreciating that out there. It was the first day of the competition at the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. The celebs were out there, of course, and our KION anchor, Phil Aldridge, live for us tonight again in Pebble Beach. And Phil, you got to follow one of the most famous faces out there in Hollywood. Veronica, he's the marquee celebrity everybody comes to see out here at the Pro-Am. The one and only Bill Murray, and once again, he did not disappoint. Is that high def? Oh, yeah. All right, then back it up. <laughs> he's the marquee celebrity everybody wants to see. The one and only Bill Murray, and once again, he did not disappoint. He's a legend at the Pro-Am. Hey, Bill! Can you get me over there? Murray's been entertaining the crowds in Pebble Beach for years. <laughs> yep, yeah, I waved to Bill Murray and he waved back to me. He hit a great shot from over here on the left, uh, and then he like three putted. And even his playing partners. I'm, I'm actually part of Bill's security team. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun. It's always fun. He's a great dude. We'll have more on Murray in a minute. Another big draw here on the Central Coast is world champion Canelo Alvarez. You know, he's known for boxing and knocking people out, but you know, we're all golfers as well too, and it's kind of cool to see a, a prize fighter out here playing probably as well as we do. <laughs> the champ had one of the biggest galleries at the Monterey Peninsula course today. I came to watch it, Canelo, Saul Canelo Alvarez, straight from San Diego, California. I know he's originally from Guadalajara, but I'm, my parents are originally from Jalisco too, so I figured I'd come out just enjoy this beautiful day and watch some golfers play. Now back to Bill. He seemed to be having an issue with his feet. But that didn't stop him from putting on a show. What brings you back every year? Uh, well, this year it was uh, Alaska Uh, Bill Murray is a piece of work. Hey, look who it is. It's Lisa Principe. She was also here in Pebble Beach today. She was speaking with local business owners who are getting a shot in the arm for having the Pro-Am in town. Yeah, this is really is a kickoff for events here on the peninsula. The PG Chamber of Commerce actually sponsors their own bus service to and from the tournament to draw more people out to their hotels and restaurants once the golf fun is over. This event is the premier event. It launches the tourism season. It's what brings people in. The AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am draws thousands of visitors to the Monterey Peninsula every year, but people don't just come for the golf. When you come all the way from Hawaii, you kind of go with the flow. Uh, there's some other things I'd like to do too, but I think we're going to enjoy being here. It's my first time experiencing Pebble Beach and the Pro-Am, so I look forward to soaking it all up, see if I can get some selfies. The Pacific Grove Chamber has been running their own bus service to and from the Pro-Am for the past 16 years. It's totally paid for by the Pacific Grove Chamber of Commerce as a complement to the event. They stay in town, they eat in town, they shop in town, they get their gas, and they get all their you know, anything that they need locally. And it's not business as usual here at the Martine Inn in Pacific Grove. Going from just like about two or three rooms during most of the week. And as far as this weekend goes, we are fully booked this entire weekend. So everyone's ready to go golfing. <laughs> I'll be heading out there myself. But the PGA Tour and the celebrities coming to town helps tourism, even for those not interested in golf. It creates ex additional exposure for the entire destination. Of course, it's centered at Pebble Beach and, and that is one of our crown jewels, but they also, uh, when the broadcast coverage, they cover other parts of the destination. So they really show off to a even broader audience, to millions of people, uh, what a beautiful destination that we have. When these people come here for the AT&T, they always end up coming back to visit. And I know a lot of them that have actually moved to Pacific Grove as a direct result of the event, bought homes, settled here, and retired. In another huge draw this year, the prom is set to is set to reach a milestone among PGA Tour tournaments, donating more than $200 million that goes straight to local charities right here on the peninsula and throughout the Central Coast. That's nice to see that uh, the businesses are getting that shot in the arm, yeah. getting that inventory, that extra money into the economy. Well, if you're wondering, Bill Murray, he's going to play at Spyglass tomorrow. He played at uh, Monterey Country Club today, Monterey Beach, and then on Saturday, he's going to be here at the big course in Pebble Beach. Well, it's Lisa Principe. I'm Phil Aldridge. That's going to do it from Pebble Beach. We'll see you later.
guys, thank you. And I think what's really nice to see too is that these celebrities, especially Bill Murray there, so personable there, just seems so down to earth as well. Well, of course, the Pro-Am is so special, like Lisa was saying, because it raises money for area charities. Macklemore is lending a helping hand here. The singer's lifestyle brand, Bogey Boys, is partnering with the Monterey Peninsula Foundation to create a signature new polo shirt exclusively for the 2022 AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. The shirts go on sale. That's starting today. They cost $80, and all the proceeds will benefit the many charitable initiatives supported by the foundation.